Hello all, welcome to my channel All Set Ready. So today we are going to see about general service for Ford Fiesta 1.4 TDCA diesel engine. Okay, so the general service in the sense we are going to change engine oil, oil filter and air filter. We are not going to change the cabin filter because just before 2000 kilometers we have changed cabin filter for this one. So for now we are going to change only these three components. So let me show what are the products that I have for this. First thing is engine oil. So as usual I have chosen the same mobile super 3000 engine oil. The reason why I have chosen this, I have created a separate video for this which I have posted in the description which you can have a look. And the capacity for this car is 3.8 liters but we have we can get this one in 3.5 liters and hence I have purchased it as 3.5 plus 1 liter. So obviously we are going to have 4.5 liters. Okay. The next thing that we have is air filter. So everyone knows that uh, it's always preferable to use only OEM products and that's what I use. So as usual the fourth original OEM air filter. And this model has really a lengthier air filter, so the back is completely un unopened. So while changing, we will open this. And the third thing that we have is oil filter, as usual, same Ford OEM air filter, I mean oil filter. And also the drain plug, so during every service, we will change this drain plug too. Okay. With, and the tools that are required for this whole process is 21 mm hex socket to remove the drain plug and 27 hex socket to 27 mm hex socket to remove the oil filter okay now let's get into the live demo so here is the vehicle let's begin our process so this car has an engine cover and then followed by air filter and next the oil filter location is at the side there it is and now as a thumb rule uh, let's check for the coolant level okay yeah it's in max level so we are fine and next thing you have to check is brake fluid and that is also fine so now let's begin the process so the first thing is we have to remove the engine cover so there will be three clips so one two and the third clip will be at the middle but in this car it has been broken so we have used a old screw so the screw will not be present in all the cars since our clip has been broken we have used a screw to tighten this Usually there will be only three clips. Okay, now we have to just pull it, that's it. Okay, so we have removed the engine cover. The next thing that we have to do is we have to remove the air filter. So to remove the air filter, we have to unscrew three screws. One, two and three and these three are of size T20. Okay. So the size is T20, I will show the spanner head once. So here it is, this is how the T20 looks like. Just unscrew them. Always ensure that you don't miss any screws that you unscrew. It's a good practice if you have a tray nearby so that you won't miss any screws. Actually changing air filter in this car is much much easier. Just removing the screw will open that uh, air filter box. Just if we pull, we can easily change the air filter. As mentioned, it's a lengthier one and it's full of dust. Okay, in the meantime, let's go and see the drain plug location. So there it is. So that's a drain plug, so engine oil drain plug. So to remove that, we need a 21 mm hex socket. So let's take it out. Here it is. <coughs> now, so we have to open the drain plug. It's a very normal method, the same thing as we do for regular nuts. And when you have loosened to half level, right, it's always better to keep the oil drainer at the bottom. Oil drainer in the sense, the tub that I'm keeping is the orange tub. If we keep that, we will be in a safe zone so that no oil will be spilled down. So I kept it. If possible, try to catch the drain plug so I just 
missed it it fell into that uh, oil sum anyway we can take it later in the meantime let's change the oil let's remove the oil filter first so to remove the oil filter we need a ratchet an extension bar and a 27 mm socket 27 mm hex socket now let's begin to remove so that's the location of the oil filter and as usual it's just a regular way to unscrew I think uh, we are good to remove hand now it got loosened Okay. <clears throat> Here it came. Now let's remove the oil filter. Just we need to pull. So there is no button or something. Just we need to pull. Yeah, it came out. It's completely old. So we'll just throw it off. And we will clean this cap first. <clears throat> now, next thing we have to do is uh, the place from where we remove the oil filter right even there will be some oil left over so just ensure to clean that too but always ensure that you have some clean cloth because it's something dealing with engine components right only to some extent we can clean yeah that's fine and now we will put the air filter first so just clean the air filter box now we will open the new air filter so the, as mentioned the same ford oem uh, air filter and this car has a lengthy model <coughs> see i think you can understand why we are changing the air filter now it's a straight fit okay it just sits perfectly in its location and the next thing what you have to do is we have to place the air filter cover the one we removed right the same thing we have to place it back so before placing we have three clips if you see at the back so one two three and the same three clips we have here just place it in the right location and just press press a while that's it it sits well now we just need to screw them back with the same t20 yes so now it's done now we are done with the first part so air filter is done so we'll go to the second thing so second thing that we are going to do is with oil filter so first we will take the oil filter cap in that there will be a o-ring it's a normal rubber o-ring we have to remove that so to remove i'm using a screwdriver ensure that during every oil filter i mean oil filter change you have to remove the o-ring and put the new o-ring yep so i have removed it now let me take the new air oil filter the same oem spare so this is the o-ring and this is the oil filter that we are going to replace. Now what we will do is we will first put the o-ring in the oil cap. It's like putting a normal rubber band and don't worry about the position. It will correctly get seated in its position. So it's not, we, are not, we are going to do nothing. It automatically gets seated in its position.
yeah it is done now let us place the oil filter so placing oil filter is very very simple so there is something extended there right so that should come at the bottom because if you see in the this part right so there will be a hole i think you can see what i'm saying so there is a hole right in that hole this extended one should go and get seated in that way we have to place so i just i'll just show you by placing the oil filter so you're getting my point right so in that position try to place the oil cap so first we will fit this in the oil cap to keep it in oil cap just press it that's it it got locked it got locked now i know the position where that extender is this. so i'm just going to place in the right location now it got placed now i have to tighten it back again the same 27 mm hex socket and the tight level once you tighten it you will get to know where to stop it it never goes beyond its point So once we complete this, we are we are done with the two components by replacement. So one is air filter and now it's oil filter. The only thing that's left is engine oil. It's done. Just wipe it off with your old cloth so that there would be no oil leak left over. Okay, it's done. So now let's move on and see what happened to our oil. Yeah, it got drained. Mostly it got drained. We will keep a old cloth at the bottom so that even if the oil spills, it won't spill at the ground. So here is the drain plug. We we'll wipe it off clearly. It's an old cloth. And now this is the drain plug as mentioned, the old and new. So old has more grooves inside, right? So we'll just throw it off. And the, the new one, I'll put it in this screw. And now we'll go under the car and place it, <coughs> place it back in its position. To tighten this, <clears throat> we are going to use the same 21 mm hex socket. 21 mm. And again, as mentioned, the same thing. When you tighten it, you will come to know up to which level it has to get tightened. Yeah, it stopped. It's not going beyond this point. So we can remove now. Now we are good to go with engine oil. So here is the engine oil. The same Mobile Super 3000 5W30. The reason for choosing this engine oil I have given in the description. It's a completely sealed plaque. So let's open it. And to pour the engine oil, it's always good to use a funnel because there won't be any oil spill or wastage of oil. <clears throat> and while pouring the engine oil, it should be poured very, very slowly. 
in a constant speed. Okay, with this we have poured 3.5 liters of engine oil and still we need to pour 300 ml right so for the time opening the one liter oil so there may question arise how can we find we have poured 300 ml very simple one is the oil indicator in the oil box or through the dipstick but checking both of them is actually good thing that's what we do now or a little check the oil level in the box and also the dipstick yeah still it can take so when i check the oil level now let's again check the dipstick yeah <clears throat> the oil level is to the max mark so we have poured the right amount of engine oil so we are done with this we will just close the engine oil cap back yes it's done Next we have to do what next what we have to do is we have to place the same engine cover back in its position with the three clips. Since we have only two clips, we are going to press those two clips. So one is here and one is there. And for the third, the same screw we are going to screw it back. With this, our service has been done. Now let's start the car and see. Okay, so with this the general service for this Ford Fiesta 1.4 TDC diesel engine has been completed. Now this car can run freely for the next 10,000 kilometers without any worries. Uh, with this we can close this video. Thank you all for watching. Uh, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.